Hey there, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about morphology, the study of the structure of words and word formation. So, what exactly is a morpheme? Well, it's the smallest meaningful unit in a language. But, it's important to note that a morpheme isn't always identical to a word. Sometimes, a morpheme doesn't stand alone, while a word always does. There are two types of morphemes, free and bound. Free morphemes are the type of morphemes that can stand alone as words by themselves. They have two categories, lexical and functional. Lexical morphemes are also referred to as open class, because we can add morphemes to these words. Examples of lexical morphemes include nouns, verbs, and adjectives. Here are two examples of free lexical morphemes. Book Run Both book and run can stand alone as words and are examples of free lexical morphemes. On the other hand, functional morphemes are referred to as closed class. These words have grammatical functions, such as conjunctions, prepositions, articles, auxiliaries, and pronouns. Examples of functional morphemes include a, an, the, of, to, and from. Now, let's talk about bound morphemes. These are affixes that must be attached to the word. There are two types of bound morphemes, derivational and inflectional. Here is an example of a derivational morpheme. The can be, class changing and class maintaining. Let's go with class changing. An example is eyes. The morpheme eyes is a derivational morpheme because when it is added to a free morpheme, it changes the category of the word. Fro the adjective modern, it creates the word modernize, which is a verb. Here is an example of a class maintaining derivational morpheme. Hood. The morpheme hood is a derivational class maintaining morpheme that is used to form nouns. When hood is added to the free morpheme child, it creates the word childhood, which is another noun. Inflectional morphemes are morphemes that are used to indicate the aspects of the grammatical function of a word. Examples of bound morphemes includes er, esse, ear, and ed. To summarize, morphology is the study of the structure of words and word formation. Morphemes are the smallest meaningful unit in a language, and there are two types, free and bound. Bound morphemes have two categories, derivational and inflectional. Derivational morphemes change the category of the word when it's added to the free morpheme, while inflectional morphemes are used to indicate the aspects of the grammatical function of a word. Created using Powtoon.